that book dealt with a lot of things. Uh, censorship, what was, what was immoral by the standards of that time, meaning the 1970s and 80s. What is on today in 2009, anything goes. It's just, it's, you just have to know to look at a different place for it. When I was researching in the 1970s to do that book that was published in 1980, the aforementioned Thy Neighbor's Wife, things were very visual on the streets. You could see massage parlors. If you walked up Lexington Avenue, Park Avenue even, all over the cities, major cities of the United States, for example, you would find massage parlor signs, massage, 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 very open. There were, and there are newspapers, such as the, the pornographic newspapers would advertise. Uh, massage parlors were really little more than places of prostitution. I mean, you would pay women to perform sexual acts upon yourself. It might be masturbation, it might be oral sex, it might be intercourse. But you, you uh, what happened after that AIDS period, now, the internet offers everything. Massage parlors are on the internet. If you know how to use the internet, there's nothing you can't get. Swingers, mate swapping, as I said, um, the, the most hardcore pornography is available. So there's no, what, you see, when I started to research that book some quarter, quarter century and more ago, there was a, a kind of a moral police, moral squad of people who wanted to restrict the right of adults to have access to sexual dalliance. Right now you can't control it because what's happened through the technology of the, of the internet is it brought the merchandising of sex into the home and people can just sit there on their laptop and order whatever they want. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's just it's easy as, as takeout. I mean, you just, it's like going to Kentucky Fried Chicken or having pizzas in it. You can get everything. No, it's always been possible. No, I don't mean that. You can always go out and get sex anyway. That's nothing new. There's very little new about sex. There's very little new. It's just different ways of merchandising and different ways of obtaining it. If we're talking about mercenary sexuality, that's what you are talking about. Now, let's talk about marital sexuality. I said before and I repeat now, Marriages are not going to be held together because of sexual performance. You see all these Viagra, God, you can barely watch a football game without having 16 Viagra commercials interrupt every, between every exchange of, of a football. Um, that's nice. I mean, it's great that there's such a thing for impotent men as for Viagra and all those other uh, competing products. But again, it's, it's it, marriages are not going to be held together because of sexual performance. It's not. I mean, the beginning, as I said, the courtship period, okay, that's a phase. But um, the sexiest woman alive is not going to be uh, a marital mate of any consequence if her mate doesn't respect her. I mean, or that, or the other way around. <laughs>